What's up everyone, it's Agbar the Mad, and today we're playing Gruul Ventures. Adventures. Yeah. Uh, it's a standard deck, playing around with the new Ventures mechanic, and the old Adventures mechanic. So, essentially the idea of this deck is to uh, make just a standard Adventures deck. Um, and then, at the same time, try to venture. Uh through a couple of dungeons and get this emblem of creatures you control have trample and haste and plus two plus two for each differently named dungeon you've completed so how we go about doing that is first we're going to do the lost mine of Fa uh, Fandelver and then we're going to knock out the tomb of annihilation uh the later game um tomb of annihilation only takes three act or three ventures to get through this one takes four. And then uh, this one takes a bunch, so we hard, we don't ever get to it. But yeah, just getting one uh, just getting one venture done with is pretty good. Plus two plus two haste and trample for everything. Uh, it's pretty good. We're only running two of these. Um, aside from that, we're running uh, Varus, which Whenever we play a creature or planeswalker spell, uh, we venture into the dungeon. Uh, this ability triggers only once each turn, and whenever we complete the dungeon, we get a 2-2 green wolf. So, he also helps with venturing, and so does dungeon map. Uh, three mana, tap it, venture into the dungeon, activate only as a sorcery. So yeah, uh, other than that, it's kind of just a standard gruel adventure build. Um, you don't actually even need to make it an adventure build. You could probably, um, alternate Edgewall Innkeeper for literally anything else. Um, any other one drop. Uh, the only reason I have it in it is because we're also running, uh, one Ember Shield Breaker, uh, four, eight, uh, twelve, so thirteen adventure cards, so... There's a decent chance for drawing some cards off this, which is pretty good. But yeah, this is the deck. Let's hop in and play some games. I've been making quite a few decks, as you can see. Um, I'm real happy about that Team or Treasure deck. It's super crazy. I will get to showing it eventually. Um, so is the Is It Rolls deck. I'm still trying to work on that dragon deck, but, uh, yeah. But just fun stuff in the future. This is an absolutely awful hand, but what can you expect? We're playing Arena. Scry. Land. Keep it. We, uh, obviously cast this for the green side. Just because there's so much double green in this. Yep, Temple of Silence. Alrighty then, green, boom, we'll bait out any removal with the edge while innkeeper, they'll never suspect a thing. Uh oh, alright, ya boy, tradesies, no tradesies, alright. We'll, uh, we'll keep going. See what happens. This is a pretty good start. I'm hoping he doesn't. Please don't. Please just don't. Don't look at Varus. We'll get two venture triggers next turn if you don't look at Varus. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. That's an optimal play for you. Just don't look at Varus. So trigger off the Planeswalker. Again, we start with Lost Mine of Fandelver. Four, relatively easy to get through, and it helps us out with the Scry. Tomb of Annihilation. Fuck that. Nope. We've got our land for turn, and it's the same land. Hey, listen, music can reshape the whole world. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, let's go! Oh yeah, and also, I wish... <sighs> Probably. 
get that. Mega treasure. We're gonna give this flyer uh, negative four, negative zero next turn, probably. And then no attacks. This does have reach, um, and we don't actually have a way to trigger Varus. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, whatever. <sighs> and, uh... Yeah, that's it. It's gonna do it for us. That's... I, re I really wanted to show you guys the ultimate. <laughs> I'm not know I'm only running two copies of it. Sure. What an idiot. Why are you running poison the cup? I don't know. I don't... I'm not gonna question it. Get to draw a card. Woo. Okay, this won't be bad for us. No attacks. I'm not worried about the Nighthawk Scavenger. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. What do you want? The Great Hands? That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, he's just super afraid of reach. Yep. We're gonna drop a great hand. And, uh, let's go ahead and do that. We need to get through to some creature spells. Preferably some adventure spells. It's just so we can keep drawing. Again, that is kind of the alt win con, is just. Adventuring. Woo. Wow. Nighthawk scavenger, huh? Perhaps I should have put... Some, uh... A board wipe in here, like the, what is it, uh, the storm, whatever, whatever, whatever it's called, um, yeah, fuck you. Swing with it now. He had to look it up. Uh, we, at least we do get to draw next turn, as we hit the uh, end of the adventure. It's just, unfortunately... We've kind of gotten rolled by the slowest deck in the world. Mostly because Wizards decided it was a great idea if we kept having great hinges. Yeah, I think I'll choose the draw card. Alright, now I'll draw two cards. Ooh, cool. That'll deal with those Nighthawks. And, uh, no attacks, yeah. See what he'd like to do. Wow. Kaya. If the job is wrong, I change the turn. Ghosting feels weird, right? 
Did he put it on this? Oh. Cool. Alright. <clears throat> Two of these is fine. Scry. Uh, no moss land. Uh, we're gonna deal. We'll just do the six and then we get to double it, right? So we'll just pay six. Uh, these two. Uh, we'll do. How much do we get to do? 18? That's not right. If X is 6 or more, deals twice X damage. That would be 12. Yeah. Can we still play the Gargaroth? That's fun. That's fun. Oh, we can still play the Gargaroth. And, uh... Yeah. Alright, let's see what we see. Here, yeah, let me help. I wouldn't be so upset if he wasn't playing literally the worst removal spells he could. It's like he intentionally went through. And found just the absolute shittest cards to play. We're just like, oh yeah, this will be good. Granted. I mean, it's black. So I guess we shouldn't, uh... <laughs> we should have expected a bunch. Each player loses one life. Venture. Alright, um... Yeah, that's fine. We'll do this. We don't actually have anything else to do. I don't know why he's, uh... Or is it waiting on us? I don't, maybe I'm just dumb. But yeah. We'll uh, continue on. He's probably waiting on us, right? I don't think he has to respond to that. Because it's just me sacking stuff. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Alrighty then. We'll keep this. Let's go. I'm glad that they brought back just a little bit of the interactive stuff. You can make the dragon wake up and be mad at you. Oh yeah? You wanna get a point? 
Oh yeah, I don't know um, who all is aware, but there is now that, uh, what, that other deck? The mono white deck that, of course I don't think this is it because there's no snow lands here. It's still in the face of Haven, um, uh, and, um, whatever it's called. The mono white... Battle is sure to inspire Let us song. venture. Please shut there are up. So many things to see. Yeah, that the worst part about playing this venture deck though is by far this voice. And just the lines that it has. But yeah, the, the Book of Exalted Deeds, that's what I'm thinking of. Faceless Haven, Book of Exalted Deeds, makes it to where you can't, uh, <clears throat> you can't lose the game. Oh, thank you, wizards. Who would have known we were about to hit such a deep land pocket? Who's ready for adventure? Who is ready for adventure? Yep, I'll just... I've got the lands. Rest assured. <gasps> Gains life. It's now a big angel. Oh no. Time for a sad song. Yep. Um I can't even really do this for that much, can I? Cuz it would just be 5, so it's not going to double. So I can't even kill the Valkyrie. Oh yes, yeah, all the green, that makes sense. And um, no, I don't believe I'll use. Alright, but we do have to kill the Valkyrie. Yep. Is that it? Cool. Should be able to do this for six. Oh, wait. Sorry, I want to do this for seven, right? Because it'd be seven each. Yes. That is all of my mana, but that's fine. Had to be done. Okay. Um. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Alrighty then. 
I probably should have drawn, right? I would have drawn five. Yeah, I should have drawn. Oh well. Let's say go. Does the beloved princess can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater? Okay. Valkyrie sword, you've got it. All right, so what's best here? Play one of you. Um. Play you. Go ahead, name a song. Bet I can play it. Ah, I venture into the dungeon. Uh, let's put you down to one, and then say go. That's gonna do it, I believe. Okay. That's not. Is it? Or is it? Oh, wait, yeah, well. If he swings. Okay, he's not swinging with the Valkyrie, so. I gain three life here. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stomp face. All right. Anything else? Please. No more of her voice. I guess it was always meant to be, Lance. Oh yeah, I don't draw off that, do I? Fuck, I'm an idiot. That's right, I can do this again for eight, I believe. You, you. One, two, three. Oh, five. Okay, I'll, I'm a liar. Let's do it for six and do you and you and do eight here and four there. And then still die to this. But that's alright.
I'll let him swing. Why not? If he'll just swing. Alright. That was something. Let's do one more. It's these life gain decks that are kind of throwing me off. They just gain too much life and get too big a little bit too quickly. Uh, this is more of a fun build than anything, so it's not super great against that. Alright. It wanted us to have the edge wall and keeper. It wants us to destroy target artifact. Play an artifact. It's not an artifact. Uh, no, I don't believe I will swing. You know, Merrily Pixie doesn't get as much play as I think it probably should. I mean, it's a pretty good, I mean, in the colors, it's a pretty good ramper. Sure. You did it. Alrighty then. Boom, boom. Boom. Got him. They never stood a chance. <gasps> I have something to destroy. Target artifact. Get out of here. You never stood a chance. And then uh, nothing but lands. Nothing but lands. This is how I can assure you that I was doing better, and you can believe me. Before this game, I was doing much better, and you can or before I uh, started recording, that I was doing much better. And you can believe that because of just the sheer amount of lands that Wizards has decided to grace me with. Uh. Okay. He didn't like the reach. Sure. He couldn't overcome a 3 3 reacher? <laughs> Alright, whatever. What do we get? Uh, this Valkyrie, the one that I don't ever play. Sack a creature, each opponent sacks a creature. That's not bad. Okay, cool. Well, let's open a pack, see what we get. Boom, Ranger class. I uh, will tell you, so far in my experience, the top two classes are Barbarian and Cleric. Barbarian is outrageous, especially in that is it deck that you may have glimpsed at the beginning. Uh, the is it rolls. Uh, but yeah, this was the video for today. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'm sorry I, I didn't get to see, or we didn't get to see the Planeswalker alt. But we did get to adventure a little bit, so... Thank you guys, uh, and I'll see ya.